So he's finding the OP1 W E from Endgame gears mouse to have too hard a click. Well, I'm going to show you today how you can solve that and get a much lighter click in there. And it's a very easy mod to do. If you're not sure, I'm a bearded bar, been around gaming 35 years. I've got a lot of experience. I mod gaming mice, keyboards. I also do tech reviews and I also enjoy playing things like Valorant and Tarkov. So if you like that kind of stuff, you're definitely on the right channel. So what we got is we've got the OP1WE from Endgame Gear and then we've got the lighter switch pack that they also provide now you can now buy it which is good this is the official pack and obviously you got the mouse so now we're going to be able to change the heavier switches for the lighter version Let's see how this works so one complaint I think most people have got with this mouse is the heaviness of the switches so hopefully now we can uh, easily tweak it should you want to so let's take it apart. We have already done a full tear down anyway, if you're interested. See every little bit, but I don't think you just need it. Maybe that the full skates. So no need for your lighter fluid. Slightly complicated inside, but you gotta be careful if they catch on these little holes. If they do catch them, you can get some like a pair of tweezers. You can push them into the hole, oops, like that, and it can ping them out. Works quite well for the battery. And you can ping out these two, these are much easier. These don't have their little pins. Don't need that, and you end up with your, basically your mouse. We're gonna take out these two bits, switch these over. You can probably just actually change the switch. So let's take a look at the pack. So in the pack, you do actually get a screwdriver. Probably should use that, but hey hell. And then you get the, Two switches. You can see there, as we showed on the teardown, they are detachable. There's little hooks in here, you can basically take the switch off. So you could actually just use the same circuit board if you wanted, or keep it as a spare. You have that one pin, unicorn horn. This is about the first time we've seen someone provide interchangeable switches. We'll just see what they feel like. And you've got four larger screws up here. Just tweak these off and then it should drop out basically. So now we've done that, like people some were saying they've got the metal grommets inside the screws or inside the recess. So decent threads, basically. Yeah, they're identical switches. So we got new one, old one. See any difference in them? Slightly trimmed more at the top, maybe, than the number is, but I could just be this cut. Right, let's try the smaller ones, the light ones. Fairly easy to swap up this, and you don't mess the cables up, but all good spot on the cable coil. And you need to take your uh, skates off, which is even better as long as you're not put the bigger scale. Just be careful of these switch screws, because like I say, mine were a little bit tight there. Could have been me. Just don't try and strip it, because once you strip that screw, you're going to be in trouble. So you should get a good screwdriver. The screwdriver fits not the best on this, to be fair. So. So are these lighter? Now we've switched them out. You know what, I think they definitely are. The more in line I'd say now with the KL8. I'd say they're like KL4s, maybe a little bit stiffer. These feel more like a KL8. And for OptoMX, they still are very, very, very snappy. KL now to make a switch. But hey, we need that anyway. <laughs> 